Hello friends, this video on symmetry part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we got an idea about what symmetry is, let us talk about line symmetry. Now a figure has a line symmetry if there is a line about which the figure may be folded so that the two parts of the figure coincides. So basically whatever examples we have been taking about symmetry till now, they were mostly line symmetry because we are always talking about a line about which we can fold that figure such that the two identical halves will cover each other completely. So this type of symmetry is called line symmetry. Now you might ask that okay, so do we also have some other types of symmetry? Yes. We also have something called rotational symmetry where we see that we, we obtain identical halves on rotation. So rotational symmetry is something which we will study in uh, our higher classes. So for now we will focus only on line symmetry. So if you look at this example, this is um, a circular sheet of paper. So first of all, do you think that this circle possesses symmetry? Yes, of course. That's because if you think of folding it along this line, we see that this line divides it into two identical halves which when folded cover each other completely. So these are the two identical halves and they would cover each other completely. So therefore they, the, the circular sheet of paper has line symmetry. Now let's look at the butterfly. So does the butterfly have line symmetry? Yes, of course. That's because when you look at the butterfly along this line so if you think of folding the paper along this line what would happen the two identical halves would coincide with each other so it is line symmetry so this is the line in this case similarly in case of in case of the circle this was the line so this is how the circle was and this was the line so each of these examples possess line symmetry and this line about which we are folding is called line of symmetry. So the line about which the figure may be folded so that the two parts of the figure will coincide that line is called line of symmetry. So line symmetry is the type of symmetry. So line symmetry is the, uh, is the phenomenon of a figure being uh, having identical parts who, which would coincide. So that entire concept is called line symmetry and that particular line about which we are folding the figure that line is called line of symmetry. So when you think of a square, so let's say that you have a sheet of paper in the shape of a square. So what would be the line of symmetry for a square? So before even you talk about line of symmetry first you need to find out whether square has symmetry or not. So let us try to judge it along a few lines. So let's consider this line. So do you think this line divides it into two equal halves? Yes, of course. So this is one half and this is another half. They are identical and if we fold it along this line, these two halves would coincide. So therefore this line is nothing but a line of symmetry. Now. It is not necessary that one figure can have only one line of symmetry. It can also have multiple line of symmetry. For example, in this, like as I said, that in this square, the, this is a line of symmetry. The next line of symmetry could be this one. So you see, when even with this line, the square gets divided into two halves. So one and two, and these two are also identical. And if you fold it along this line, then also the two halves would coincide. So this is also a line of symmetry. Because this line divides it into again, two equal halves, which will coincide when folded. Similarly, even if you think of the diagonal of the square, that also divides it into two identical halves. And if you fold it along the diagonal, these two would also coincide. So this is also a line of symmetry. So how many lines of symmetry did we see till now? One, two, three. So three we have already seen. Another one 
could also be this one. This is also another diagonal because there are two diagonals possible in a square. So this diagonal also divides it into two equal halves. So this is also a line of symmetry. So just for one figure, that is for one square, how many lines of symmetry did you have? You have four lines of symmetry. So in case of a square, there are four lines of symmetry. So line of symmetry is also known as axis of symmetry. Because it is about this axis that the, the symmetry exists. Because it is about this axis that we do the folding so that we can identify if the identical parts are coinciding or not. So this is called line of symmetry. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.